AHP's latest offer, and as a result, nurses plan to strike on Thursday. The government is naturally very, very disappointed. As it stands, though, we are on track for a strike action on Thursday, which will cause disruption to health services nationwide. Patient safety is paramount to this government. To that end, DHBs have been preparing for this possibility for weeks now and have made contingency preparations. Elective procedures and non-urgent treatments are already being deferred and rebooked to reduce the number of patients in our hospitals on Thursday. Each of our 20 DHBs have signed life-preserving services agreements with the NZO, NZNO rather, to ensure that emergency services are in place. We are confident that professionalism of our nurses will see them support the urgent needs of DHBs on Thursday. This will be the first time nurses have walked off the job in more than a generation. That's a sad reflection of years of underfunding and neglect by the previous government. Our nurses are caring and dedicated professionals. Their frustration and anger has built up over many years. This government, though, is committed to working with nurses to address their concerns, but we can't fix everything in one pay round. This government is about building a social contract with New Zealanders and with public servants and with the nurses of this country. That's our offer, but we will take time to build that social contract and we need willing partners. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today we are here in Havera. Um, uh, so the, the hospital staff and the GP staff, all the nurses, they are having a strike and have a, some protest of the pay, pay and some of the negotiation is just going all over uh, New Zealand wide. And uh, so this is Havera, South Taranaki, and we have a hospital here, Havera Hospital, and, and a GP services here. So yeah, they are demanding to the government that uh, negotiate with their pay rise and their working hours. So please, just say it. Um, yeah, we just want better working conditions. Um, you know, make our patients, our families, nursing safe. <laughs> Um, strike action today for the hospitals and it is um, 30,000 nurses um, on the picket line here at Hawara today and um, all about safe staffing and better conditions for the hospitals. Wards better staff today on strike day, yeah. providing um, life preserving services, which is what the Spendix are um, what we've committed to, than on an ordinary day. So, some wards across the hospital yeah. are going to be better staffed today because the management have asked us to, to save staff. And if they we had those safe staffing ratios every day, this might not necessarily happen. So, you know, so some places today, wards in New Zealand, they're going to have wards. Skill, uh, safe skill mix than you, on a usual day. Right. Unless something's wrong, we have to post it. And, and there's a rally at lunchtime down on the town square for Hawa as well. Right. Even though it's a small hospital, it's, it's still yeah. um, a yeah. nursing. Uh, hopefully the government, the new Labour government will do that. Although Winston Peters uh, said on the other day that what they have, uh, they just put on the table. So yeah, we hope because the, these guys are doing uh, awesome services uh, throughout New Zealand, long working hours, as myself also, been in the hospital a uh, couple of years ago uh, with the heart surgery. And I'm in here, Havana, South Taranaki. 
So yeah, people they are waving them and uh, yeah, just cheering them up and we support them and asking all the New Zealanders to support them to their strikes and uh, so that they can go back to their work. It's not good that you're taking more work from someone and uh, not paying them well. My name is Ali Bhatt and I'm in here Havera South Taranaki. Thank you very much guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Signing off.